By the end of this video, you will understand the key drivers behind the need for mocking objects within automation testing and how you can create and control mocked objects with the Mockito framework. The class we are testing is called Booking Manager. This class will be responsible for recording bookings for the hotel. However, it has just one method for this video called check room availability. The method will take in the name of the room. It will then use a DAO service, which connects to a database um, to execute a query to find all the available rooms for that hotel. And then finally, it will return a Boolean if the room name is within that list of room. For the booking manager, the DAO is known as Hotel DAO and it is passed in and instantiated through the class constructor. The method fetch available rooms comes from the Hotel DAO class. Firstly, it connects to a database. So we just have database URL here using the driver manager. It then runs a SQL query select all from rooms, which is the name of the table, where available, which is one of the fields like one. So this is a fictitious SQL query, which will return all the rows where the room value is one, which would mean that the room is available. It then iterates through all of the rows and adds the room name into the available rooms list. And then it returns the list. The database doesn't exist, however, we can see the process that it otherwise would be taking. We're going to test the check room availability method for returning true and false. However, we can see that the method actually relies upon the DAO for actually getting all the rooms that are available from the database. So testing this method will kind of show us two different problems. So first, our test method is actually going to have to connect to the database. This can require quite a lot of bandwidth. It can take a little bit of time. And actually, we'll be testing across two different layers of our application. So we'll actually be testing the service layer and the actual repository layer. The second problem is that with time, our database might change. And as a result, this kind of exposes the dependency that our test will have upon that external resource. So that can actually cause the test to fail when nothing's really changed in the logic of our check room availability method. So that leads us to wonder if it's possible to actually fake the database call, or even better, to actually fake the method call um, to provide us with a consistent list of strings that would represent the available rooms. A mocking framework provides us with the tools to do exactly that. The framework we will use is called Mockito, and it will be used to create a test double of the Hotel DAO class, where we will control the output of this fetch available rooms method. So a test double is actually just another Java object that we will have control over. And we will use the mocking framework, so Mockito, to create this test double of the Hotel DAO class. Now, before we begin using Mockito, I'm just going to move into my pom.xml file as I'm using Maven to verify that I have the correct dependencies. So I have JUnit here, and then I also have the Mockito dependency just on top. So I've created this booking manager test class within the test Java directory of the application. And the first thing I'm going to do is define a couple variables that will be used by both of our tests as we look to test the check available rooms method to return true and for it to return false. So we will have a hotel DAO and this hotel DAO instance is going to be mocked. So we're going to we're going to instantiate this as a test double. So I'm going to call it Hotel DAO Mock. And that way, when we're using it, we know that it's not a real instance of that class, but it's a mocked version of that class. And then I'm also going to 
create a booking manager. And both of these instances will be instantiated using the before annotation. So the hotel DAO mock will not be instantiated as we usually instantiate a class using the new keyword, but instead we'll be using the mock keyword from the Mockito framework and passing in the hotel DAO.class. And we can see that there's a static import from Mockito to use that mock keyword. So that will create the mocked or test double version of the hotel DAO. And then in the booking manager class, we can see that the constructor takes in a hotel DAO. So I will pass that mocked version in to our instance there. So the first test we're going to write will be assuming that the check available rooms method returns true. And the first thing we'd like to do is define what will be returned by this dao.fetch available rooms method. So essentially it would be turn, returning a list of strings. We want to manufacture or fake what the database would be returning to us. And to do that, we will first define what that list will be. So I'm going to keep it very simple and just pretend that the database is returning a list of uh, one letter, which is, uh, which is room A. And then we're going to tell this mocked class that we want to return this list whenever we call the fetch available rooms method. So the first keyword we want to use is called when, and this will express what method call we're going to be making. So it's uh, hotel do mock dot fetch available rooms. And then at the end of this keyword, we can then use the then return keyword to express what we would like this method to be returning. And that would be the available rooms. So now we know this hotel DAO mock, when it calls this fetch available rooms method, it is going to return this list. It's not going to connect to the database, it's not going to perform any SQL operations, it's just going to return this list. So therefore, we can use the assert true method that when we call the booking manager, check room availability and we pass in the letter A, that should be returning true because that booking manager will receive a list of strings from the DAO fetch available rooms, which will be equal to this list of just A. And then it will return whether that list contains the name being passed in. We can then write a test for asserting false, which is where we would use a very similar method, method to this, where we define the hotel do mock fetch available rooms as returning the same available rooms list, which is just A, and then asserting false that the booking manager dot check room availability of B is not included within that list. I can just clean this up a little bit by moving these methods into the before annotation. That summarizes this tutorial on how we can get started with Makito for creating test doubles. We have used the mock keyword for creating a test double and then we've used the when keyword for defining the method call that we would like to imitate. And then we've defined the response to that method call using the then return method from the Mokito framework. We've looked at an example where Mokito is useful as the method that we're testing is dependent upon a 
a separate component which is that fetch available rooms method from the DAO class. We've then used Mojito to create a controlled environment, which we can then test upon for the check room availability method. Upon this, we have removed any dependency from the database itself for the purpose of our unit test.